You can really see that, how that's true. And it's time for your weather forecast with forewarned meteorologist Daniel McFarling. And Daniel, the storm alert is moderate. It's low today, actually. And we also want to warn people about the excessive heat warning as well. Yeah, so even though we have a storm alert low for the excessive heat, that doesn't mean we could see active storms later today that bring us to moderate or high like we saw last night. Okay, so we can still look forward to some rain then. Yeah, so there's going to be chances, especially as we get into the evening today. So that's going to be the big difference here is that we really saw the strongest storms last night in between the hours of about five and eight o'clock. I think that might lean back a couple hours today. I'll talk about that in a second. The excessive heat warning keeps getting extended. Now it's until Friday and this weekend could also be active. And that's something else I want to focus on in just a moment too. Right now you're seeing clear skies, nothing developing over the mountains yet and temperatures already reaching the triple digits throughout much of the Tucson area. You did see a handful of spots a few minutes ago as we were going Going through spots like the west side, Casas Adobe around 103, 104 airport, though, which is where the official temperature is taken right about 100 degrees. Now, there has been some updates with the excessive heat warning. It's mostly going to be Tucson down towards about Green Valley. That central portion of Pima County has been removed, but that's also the area where I think severe weather is going to be the most likely as we get into the next couple days. That's even where we saw the tornado warning last night was right through this area and those stronger thunderstorms developed just south of Tucson and tracked up that way as well. At least for this afternoon, things will be clear for a few hours out there. And as you know, we like to take a look from space to see the clouds developing, just not seeing anything as we're getting into this part of the day. Closer towards Douglas, I'm not seeing anything over here either. This is typically where you first start to see those clouds building up and then tracking over towards the west. Things are clear for now, and that's why I think it's going to take a little bit longer today is because we were looking at clouds yesterday already beginning to build on the top of the mountains out there and it's just not happening yet. So around three o'clock, it's likely going to begin to happen at that point in time. So thunderstorms could start up around say 430, five o'clock, track through an area like Vail and eventually move into Tucson. So that's good news because if strong thunderstorms do develop in Tucson, you'll have a little bit of a warning with them closer towards Vail first. It should begin to fizzle out closer towards about 930. Severe weather threat, not as high as what we had yesterday, but I do think this weekend is going to be a big thing to watch out for is going to be that severe weather threat. Your main threat I still think is going to be wind. Yes, lightning and dust are also moderate, but those are on the way down. We did see some straight line winds yesterday around 60 miles per hour. I wouldn't be surprised to see that also later today and tomorrow. And as we get into the weekend, that flooding threat might be a tad bit higher as well because better rain chances are going to be here during those days. So if you start to see those thunderstorms develop, right over an area that could really impact, of course, that flooding threat. And as you get closer towards Saturday and Sunday, I do think rain could be consistent throughout the entire day. Now that's going to be something important to keep an eye on. And the reason I say that is because storms that develop in the morning could be sitting still for a while, Saida. So if that happens, we could see a lot more flash flood warnings as we get into both Saturday and Sunday. That'll be something else to keep an eye on. Thank you, Daniel. People